Okay, 1015, Berryman Campground, Wednesday morning, starting the hike. Beautiful day, <laughs> 14 degrees this morning when I picked the guys up at their campsite. So uh, a bit chilly, but uh, blue sky, and uh, looks like it's going to be a lovely day. Hey, Hair Bear left me a note, and I'm not sure if he's on the trail in front of us today, or if he left this from the weekend uh, and uh, did a little hiking around before he went home. So uh, we'll have to see what happens tonight. Uh, hopefully he'll stop at Hazel Creek as well and uh, we'll all meet up if he's on the trail somewhere. But uh, a great note uh, from the bear. Nice little creek to cross, Cedar Creek I think. And uh, they put in a nice bridge for the Ozark 100 a couple weeks ago. And we've been started now about an hour. Crossed Highway 8. And I can say that I don't think I've been on this section of the trail uh, maybe 10, 11, 12 years. So since I've been down day hiking around here. So it'll be all new experience because they've rerouted the OT in this section. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, continues to be a nice day. About uh, I don't know, two o'clock in the afternoon. We're not making particularly fast time, but it's just a lovely walk in the woods. branch. I think everybody's decided that we'll get water here, go to the top of the hill, and that's where we'll camp. So get your bottles out, tank up. Here's my setup for this evening. I'm gonna hang between this tree and this tree. So look at the view I have down into the valley and up the next side. We're getting some late afternoon sunshine. It's lovely. Getting almost ready is my setup. The DIY hammock and the 10 degree incubator hammock gear and the zero degree burrow. I will be nice and toasty this evening. Cuban tarp nicely deployed, tight pitch. I didn't really want to put it up because uh, it absolutely is a beautiful evening. Uh, I don't know if you can see uh, the moon yet. No, there it is coming up just through the trees there. But uh, I don't think we're gonna get uh, any rain or anything like that, but there may be some frost. So I'll put it on, keep the frost out of the tarp. Uh, my Cuban tarp is a regular one with doors, and when I don't use the doors, uh, I secure them with bobby pins. Very lightweight, just roll up the door, secure it with the bobby pin, Works every time. Time to get something to eat.
Here is my morning view from the hammock. Looks like it's going to be another great day. Start of day two, another beautiful sunny day. I don't think the uh, the weather people quite had it right because they had partly cloudy, but uh, so far it is uh, a great day. Uh, a little bit of a, well, not a crisis, just a little bit of a concern. Uh, Eric decided that he was going to rip through his hammock and uh, so we'll have to uh, sort that out today. I have needle and thread and dental floss and Tyvek, and I think we'll uh, we'll get him uh, we'll get him sorted out for tonight. So otherwise, he's going to sleep on the ground. Hoorah! Hoorah! So off we go. Ground. Just took us a little over an hour to come the two miles from where we stopped. And uh, this looks like a old homestead. A lot of leaves on the ground make it very noisy when you walk, but nice quarried stone. Yeah, off we go. Hiding in a brand new valley of power lines. These have just gone up. Is this lovely little creek? Where we will get water. And how was your day so far, Eric? My day is wonderful. How was your day? Bob? Nice. Sitting down for lunch. Yummy. Yummy. Lunch. Big hornet's nest. Little creek. Eric already crossed. Fifty two mile mark. That's what you think? No, that's what the map says. That's what the map says, huh?
So four and a half miles back to Hazel Creek and uh, we've taken four hours to get here. So uh, you know, you can do the math. It's a pretty leisurely pace at this point. So we we'll, don't know how far we're going to get. I don't think we're going to make it to uh, Council Bluffs. But we'll go along until it looks nice and uh, make camp. Still got some repairs to do on uh, Eric's hammock. So if we make an early day of it. It's 12.30 now, and another two, three hours will be done. Yeah, an old homestead. Chimney still standing. Little creek running right in front. Provided them water, I'm sure. Nice. It's like a old forest road headed right out in that direction. So we're going to attempt to sew this up, see what happens. It's a nice big rip in the bottom of his taffeta tablecloth hammock. We're going to sew it. Here's the finished product. Sewn, multicolor, everything we had. We'll see how what happens. This could be U2 gold. This is the uh, test. Hour and a half worth of work. A little low. Well, not worried about where you're sitting, just how you're sitting. I hope you don't get anything sharp in your pockets this time. No, I just checked. By golly, I think. This is gonna hold. Okay, hold on. We're going. We're going underneath. We're going to the nether regions to uh, check out the uh, sewing. Uh. Ah. Okay, here is the stitching. <laughs> yeah. And my ass. And I think uh, we might get away with this. I think you're right, sir. All right, we'll see if we don't hear any screaming in the middle of the night. Nice fire. Try not to catch the woods on fire, but... Lovely. Everybody gets their dinner ready. And what am I having but... Stuffing! Nice.